to get the straight dirt on what it's like to work in America, I went to the expert, a man who gives voice to the unsung heroes of America's workforce and gives his voice to a number of television shows, commercials, and a popular podcast called The Way I Heard It. Some more like that? Good, good. No, I, I do like it. It's just I think um, we probably could try going, again, a little up in register uh-huh. uh, and a little through through the nose, a little more nasal, and then I think we've got it. But just give me one more if you don't You mind. got it. I know exactly what yeah, you mean. No, it's good. With this robust palette of job options coloring our landscape. Filling in for me on the mic is Mike Rowe, the host of Dirty Jobs, a show that added over 300 different jobs to his resume. Mike took five from his many labors to talk about what job opportunities really look like in America. You've got benefits, perks, it's relatively safe for most people, endless opportunities. So many small businesses in this country, if you walk them back to their inciting incident, it's a proprietor mastering a skill that's in demand. Now, what does that person do once they have that skill? Some spend the rest of their lives plying their trade. But others buy a van and hire somebody else. And next thing you know, that welding certificate turns into a plumbing certificate. And then there's a heating and air conditioning. And then there's another van, another five people, and it's a mechanical contracting company. And that's the identity that that I'm interested in exploring. Were there any jobs that you didn't even know existed before you Ran yeah. into them on dirty jobs. We've profiled feces from every species mm-hmm. in season one. But in season two, I turned everything over to the viewer because we had so many letters from people. Avian vomitologist? I didn't know that was a job. It is. Besides the lessons you learned for yourself, what did it teach you about the American workforce, about the workers themselves? There were over 40 people on dirty jobs who were multimillionaires. People are always surprised to hear that. Right. Because the most successful people on that program didn't look like what successful people are supposed to look like. They were covered in mud or dirt or something much worse. I've been thinking about this distinction between job, work, and vocation. Frost actually wrote about um, vocation and avocation. He's chopping wood out in his backyard, and these lumberjacks come out of the hills looking all ragged. And This is what we do for money. And of course, Frost was like, well, this is what I do for love. Mm. And the poem is a rumination on who has the greater claim to the work, right? Right. The vocation or the avocation, where love and need are one and work is play for mortal stakes, is what he ultimately concludes. Because he's Robert Frost and he's very smart. He is. Was. Mm. <laughs> Rest his soul. <laughs> This video is inspired by our PBS series, Reconnecting Roots. Connect with me, Gabe McCauley, and Reconnecting Roots by visiting ReconnectingRoots.com, where you'll discover music, blogs, behind the scenes, our podcast, and more. Join our email list and never miss a beat.